guys, we are Tottenham TV here previewing the massive game on Sunday between Tottenham and Man United at Wembley at 4.30. Now, this game might have been a bit easier if it was played a few weeks ago while Mourinho was still in charge, but since Mourinho has been sacked, they've brought in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and kind of things have turned up for United. They're now four wins on the bounce. They're actually probably one of the form teams in Europe right now. However, they haven't really had a test ever since Mourinho's been sacked. They've had pretty decent fixtures. Kind of Solskjaer came in at a very good time. And although they're swatting teams away, this is going to be the first real test that United have had uh, under Solskjaer. I feel like United are going to come on to us. They're going to play good attacking football. But I think that will play into our hands. I think Spurs are very good when a team like United try and attack us because it leaves space in behind for players like Son, players like Kane, Ali and Eriksen to exploit. And I think that's really when they work their magic. In some ways, it would be, it would be more difficult under Rina because he would, he would set up with a game plan. But in other ways, he would be less of a threat going forward than this, this team with Solskjaer is going to be. I'm not sure whether they'll go with Lukaku or Rashford. I think I'll be more worried if they went with Rashford just because that searing pace he has in behind. Where, whereas Lukaku uh, doesn't have a great record against us. And Toby and Jan or even Sanchez have a pretty good record of shutting him out. So I think that should be okay. I think the key battles, obviously, Paul Pogba is back in central midfield for Man United. And our central midfield partnership at the moment of Winks is Soko, seeing as we don't have any other centre mids, even though Dyer's back fit, I don't think he'll make an appearance in this game. Um, that's going to be a key battle to see how Spurs can cope with that. Obviously, Matic is also a very strong player. The worry being that we have done well recently in first half of games, but we've kind of seemed to tire in second half of games. And whether that be just the overload of games these central midfield pairing are having to play because of no other options, that's probably something to look out for. Obviously, Spurs going to this game in good form. We had a very good December bar in the defeat to Wolves. After Liverpool's win today against Brighton, it's now we're now back to nine points behind. So we kind of have to keep winning just to keep pace to Liverpool. But if we can really keep within six points Liverpool, I think there is a slight, slight chance of the title there. I think every game now, as long as we're in touching distance with Liverpool, I think every game is massive. Um, anyway, we've also got a special guest with So from the Hair Dry Treatment YouTube channel. She's also giving her opinion on the United perspective of this game, so check it out here. Hi, it's Sophie here from Hair Dry Treatment giving my verdict on the game for Sunday. So Spurs at home obviously against United. Spurs, definitely the biggest test yet for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Pogba is fit, which is a massive boost for us. However, I've got to be honest and say, if Phil Jones starts, that does make me feel very nervous. Um, which he will. I, I do think Jones will start. So our back four are liable to make mistakes. And I just think that you've got far too much firepower going forwards with the likes of Son. His last game, obviously, before he goes away with international. So I think Son is a massive danger for us. Harry Kane obviously scored goals for fun. And with the likes of Phil Jones in our back four, we will definitely concede. So I think we will concede goals. However, under Oli, we have noticed definitely more attacking football. Our attacking players are more confident. We are more fluid going forward. So I'm hoping that our counter-attack is going to come into play. I'm hoping that we attack at speed because like Wolves did, we will cause you problems on the break. And I just hope that we turn up. I hope the likes of Rashford um, starts over Lukaku because for me, Rashford will cause you far more problems running into the channels. And if he does, then I can see us also scoring goals. So I'm going to go with a, a draw. 2-2 um, is my prediction. I think we will concede, but at the same time, I can also see us scoring. So 2-2 is my prediction. I'm hoping for an attacking end-to-end -end game because I think that will suit both teams and more of an open game and it'll be entertaining to watch. And to be honest, I would take 2-2 away at Wembley because, let's face it, under Jose Mourinho, we would have lost that game. We'd have parked the bus waiting for you to score. Whereas under Solskjaer, I'm hoping it's going to be more... Um, more tactically planned than that. I'm hoping that we're going to kind of sit in but use our counter-attacks because that's something we could not do under Jose. We never had a counter-attack. We didn't take any risks in our play. So hopefully we do with Oli in charge. So all in all, feeling pretty, pretty confident that we'll get a point. But we will concede goals. I'm not under the impression that we won't concede. I'm just hoping that we score at the other end. So 2-2 two -two is my prediction. Hope I'm right. Enjoy the game and come on United. There you have it, that was Soph's take on the game. I think it's going to be interesting. They're, they're pretty confident, you know, after four wins. They're, they've got their, a new lease of life since Mourinho left and Solskjaer came in as a feel-good factor over United. So they're going to be full of confidence. There's nothing to take for granted, but I just feel if their plan is to come and attack us, I think we have the defence to keep them quiet enough that our attack should shine through. 
who, who knows? Maybe we shouldn't underestimate Solskjaer. Maybe they'll come with a plan and they won't be so open. It remains to be seen, but I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm going to go for... You know what? I'm going to go a lot of goals. I'm going to go 4-2 to Spurs. I'm going to go 4-2. I feel like could be a, it, this could be end-to-end stuff if Solskjaer really comes out and plays expansive football. It's going to be Son's last game before he goes to the Asia Cups. So he's going to be well up for it, looking to get, get a couple of goals, get, get a really good send-off. Man United at Wembley, you, you can never be too sure about Man United. So I'm really looking forward to it. Like, subscribe, go check out Soph at the Hair Dry Achievement. Thanks a lot, Soph, for contributing. And as always, come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.